Hey hi, welcome to this part 2 video of creating a device backup tool using the Telnet Live date, time and OS modules. If you haven't yet seen the previous parts, I have left the link for them in the description. Please check that out. Also the slides and program codes used in this video is also available in the description as a link. Okay, let's get into the video. Next path is equal to OS dot path dot join what we're going to join parent directory with the today what's there in the today it's the today's date right it, it is actually a string and then let's just do one thing let's uh, print this uh, this out so that we can verify it during the execution time mm. These are not important. This is for our sake so that when the program gets executed, we will be able to see what's happening step by step. So the let's name this like the the joined path is so that we will be able to understand. Joined path is path. Okay. Next. So we have the path ready. The next thing we have to do is create the path in the system. For that, we will do a error error handling methodology. So try OS dot make directory path, and if there is an exception happening, say example, it is a OS error. So this is error and then print out that error. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to get into a for loop and then we are going to read the device IP list one by one and get into the telnet session of each of the routers and take the backup as necessary. Okay. So for host in or uh, let's keep it okay host fine anything is fine so host in device ip this is the name of the list which we have created mm, in this case let's give the username plain password also as a plain text but again this is not recommended the next thing we are going to do is we will try to tell it into the router. Again, we will do exception handling for the cases when the router is down. Try. Try. Telnet TNT. Just a short form TNT. Telnet live dot. Just telnet to the host. That is the IP address, right? whatever we extracted from the list first then o is okay sorry typo i think that's not a o okay it's a o o is error no again wrong o is error as error and then if you face this error you just continue right that means when you face this error that means the device is down you just go back to the for loop and start over again the next thing if we do is once you get in in case you get in what you should be doing we should be able to read until we see a byte string called surname mm, it will have a colon and then we will write the username which is already available and also we will do uh, enter which is a slash end right a new line similar way let's copy this uh oh let's when you hit password send in the password 
what did I do? Hold on. Send in the password. Once we are into the router, the first thing we will do is we will write the command terminal length zero. So if you are working on Cisco router, this command will be like uh, it will not say example if it is a lengthy output it will not be split up instead it will be like ran completely so that is what we need if it is stuck in between there will not be any enter we don't know when to give a enter in our program right if we are doing it manually we can we will be able to see it in our eyes and then give an enter but we will not be able to do the same in a program. So better we do the first, first we do the terminal length zero and then we'll go to the show run configuration. Then write show running configuration. Let's type it full. What's wrong in that? And then and then let's do exit i think that's enough let's exit out uh -uh, i have to give an enter if i don't give this n what will happen is it will type the exit and it will not press it's like just typing the exit and not pressing the enter you will never be able to get out right so you have to do that and then what i'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called backup and inside that backup I'm going to save all all the logs commands whatever we done in this telnet session okay and uh, as we know all the data is byte strings so we have to decode to the hum human format while we save it then let's just print a message we have to we say example we need to see when each device each device gets completed so backup completed completed for the device host let's write it okay we'll pause here guys and we will continue in part 3. Please press the i button for the link to part 3 video. And also check the description for the links to all other parts of this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Let's learn together.